Hi everyone, thank you for watching. A big thank you to all my Instagram supporters who followed me from Instagram here to YouTube. This reading is for Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the month of July 2018. Always remember, general readings may or may not resonate with everyone. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Never force a message to apply to you. So let's get started. What's going on for Leo for the month of July 2018? Romance. Okay. You got some romance coming towards your way. Or you maybe you've just met someone new. You just recently started dating. Maybe there's a renewal of your current relationship. One more card. What's going on for Leo? Sun, Moon, Rising. Opportunity. Okay, so a new opportunity. There is a perhaps a new love interest coming your way. An opportunity for you to take a break with your partner so that you can renew your love life. You meet someone new in the most unexpected ways. I get the sense that there's an opportunity there's an opportunity that comes your way where you actually meet someone new that can be your new romantic partner if you're single. If you're not single and you're in a relationship or a marriage, a partnership, this could be your opportunity where you take a break. Maybe you haven't had a chance to connect Hey, what's going on Leo when I say you take a break and you've got all these cards flying out the strength card the Queen of Pentacles the three of Wands trying to figure out how to how you're gonna handle your finances and your future trying to find stability trying to heal and come together at the same time if you were in a sex-only relationship that really hurt you, you've decided that it's time to heal and move on to something that's more fulfilling in the emotional sense, more rewarding emotionally, where you actually come together with someone in love. Perhaps you get a water sign that comes in with a financial opportunity that has you wondering which path do you take. For some of you, okay, this is interesting. For some of you, the romance and the opportunity are two separate things, so we'll clarify them separately. But right now, how I see it is you do have an opportunity for romance, whether in your current relationship, your current partnership, or there is an opportunity of meeting someone new. If you are in a current relationship, a current marriage, where maybe you've been at odds, there's been a sense of being defensive with each other, you know, um, you haven't been getting along all that well lately is what I'm sensing. Your arguments were starting to get really bad. Where you've started thinking about any other opportunities that you may have, or maybe you feel that maybe your partner has plenty of opportunities to choose from, and it causes all kinds of confusion, because maybe if you are involved with this King of Cups, they're keeping their emotions to themselves and not really for being forthcoming with how they feel. And so you start to wonder, what's really going on here? Maybe I should start thinking about my financial future Maybe I should focus more on my career and less on my love life because it's causing me too much confusion. I get presented with so many different things, so many different options, and I'm not quite sure which path to take. I know what I want to manifest. I know what I want. I'm standing my ground with the realization that there are certain things that I want in my romantic relationship. 
but you're not currently feeling it at the moment, and so you end up being at odds. The Seven of Wands is being very defensive, needing to stand your ground because this is something that you really believe in. But the Five of Swords, you know, if you're being met with opposition, where you're the one standing your ground and the other person is, you know, being more of an asshole than to being romantic and you're wondering what is really going on? Why am I losing sleep over someone who treats me like shit? Here I thought they loved me, but they're being an asshole with me or vice versa. Maybe you haven't been in, you know, the best of moods lately. And you've been the asshole. For some people with this opportunity card, I feel a sense of an opportunity to work with someone new. Perhaps this King of Cups becomes a new business partnership where there is a financial opportunity being offered. I mean, look, he, they're extending their pinnacle out. This is a promise for an abundant future financially. It's like setting yourself free from what, whatever financial worries you had in the past and creating this big and brand new future for yourself. And you're going to fight like hell to have this financial opportunity. You've seen what options you have. You know that you can manifest this financial opportunity. You know you can have this financial freedom, but it's time to dwindle down all these different options that you're being presented with because we all know with the Seven of Cups, not all of them are worthy. Not all options are worth the taking. Some of them are a bit tricky and some of them can be fruitful and abundant. And so you stand your ground, you fight like hell to make sure that this financial opportunity does happen for you and you keep moving forward. You start making plans for a new future for yourself. You manifest the hell out of, you, out of all these options that you want and then you figure out, you know, some things are not worth manifesting in because they're not worth my time. And that's if I take all these cards with only the opportunity card. If I take them with a romance card, well, for those that it may apply, Leo, you have been fighting with your partner. You have been a bit defensive and that defensiveness ends up getting your partner feeling like, well, she's going to be defensive, he's going to be defensive, then I'm just going to be an asshole because I don't feel like dealing with it. And in a sense, either you or they take on this King of Cups mentality where I don't care what you throw at me, you're not gonna hurt me because this is the man. This is the King of Cups is the one that holds on to his feelings and doesn't allow anyone to really see how he's feeling emotionally inside. He lets very few people in to see what that, that part of him is like. And maybe they're putting in more time and energy into their financial future, their financial future, not yours, not yours together. Perhaps you had this idea that it was your financial future together, but that's what you guys are fighting about. Like in most relationships, one of the biggest things that you fight about is money and the plans for the future. But there's too many things going, you know, being th too many options being thrown in your face where it's like, well, what about this? And we've talked about that. But you know what? It's time to get rid of all these options that aren't worth your time in manifesting. Once again, find out what really is truly worth manifesting for this relationship to be exactly what you want it to be. Because you have an idea of what you want it to be. You know you do. And there, be, may, there may be a few of you that are not just romantic partners, but also business partners. If you have a family business, it can be hard sometimes to keep 
a family business going and a marriage going when perhaps sometimes you don't sometimes you might not be feeling agreeable to what your partner what decisions your bar partner is making when it comes to the business so you work together and you live together and you make a life together and sometimes when we see each other at work we work together and we bring some of those issues that you're having at work and you bring it home and then it's a continuation of it and it starts affecting your home life but it's important to say you know what hun you know what babe like from this time to this time it's all about business and let's not bring any of the work problems home even though we see each other 24 7 because then it has you overthinking a situation You know, the Knight of Wands can be a little wishy-washy. If you are trying to build something with someone, if, you, if your romantic partnership is also a business partnership, the lines get blurred here. But it's time to really, really take the time to think about the steps that you're taking and what you want to manifest, whether in your love or whether in your business side. Or maybe it's both. Sometimes this Knight of Wands can come in very passionate about one particular thing. And then they get close to manifesting exactly what they've been working so hard at. And sometimes their passion alone at manifesting this can scare them away. Where they become afraid of success. So, for those that are not having this romantic and business partnership in the same, the same relationship, and it's two different relationships, at some point this night became the king. Why? Because he finally thought about what steps needed to be taken for a positive future, for a financial future, for an abundant future, for a romantic relationship to supersede whatever problems and issues you were having. The, the idea here is to really take the time to go within, enlighten yourself, a lot of times you yourself have the answers to everything. You just need to take the time to really, really be one with your own thoughts, with your own mind. Write out your plan of action financially, romantically. If you want to be this, you know, true, passionate, noble leader, this king of wands who's so very action oriented, who says, I know what I want for my financial future and I'm going to go out and get it. And at the same time, it could also be in a romantic partnership. So you've graduated. If you are the king of wands, you've graduated from the knight to the king. Why? Because you've thought about the next steps you needed to take. You know what you want for your future and you're going after it. You're no longer going to let the confusion of too many options get in your way. You're not going to let this defensiveness, this, you know, winning at all costs, fighting over stupid fights that just, rather than encourage, you know, oneness and unity, you're discouraging people from wanting to come together with you. And so for those that are here about a financial future, an opportunity financially in abundance, if you are this king of wands, because Aries Leo Sagittarius right there, this is the Leo reading, you need to take, if you have earth placements as well, but you need to take this earth king of pentacles who is this financially business savvy 
King of Pentacles is like the king of his castle, has the Midas touch. He can create anything he wants for himself. And the King of Wands is so full of action. He won't hesitate to make the next steps he needs to take to become this King of Pentacles who has everything he could possibly think of for his throne, for his castle. But I do get the sense that I'm reading for a few different Leos because some of them are worried about their romance, about the romance, and some of them are worried about their finances. I feel as though only a small few of you have these two together. I feel like they're more for a few different Leos. Some of you are in this romantic partnership, romantic relationship where you have been fighting. Your fights have gotten pretty badly. And you're very defensive because you're standing your ground on exactly what your expectations are. And that's fine to, to say, I know what I want and this is how I want things. But there is a fine line between standing your ground and defending what you truly believe in. And also saying, no, this is how I want this because it's a control issue. And when you have this mentality of wanting to be in control of every aspect of your romantic relationship or your financial opportunities, career and job and business. Sometimes having too much control over these things are what causes such great disappointment and heartache because that defensiveness, that standing your ground, that need for control, that need for control causes unexpected disappointments because of certain expectations that you end up having or that you end up making for people. So a few cards that you have here that are duplicates the Knight of Wands and the Magician. Leo, you can manifest whatever relationship, whatever financial opportunity you want. You have the passion and the drive and the ambition to take the right steps to move forward in a positive way. Know the difference between standing for what you believe in and being a control freak. Know that you can move forward in a much calmer way without this heartache and disappointment. There are new financial opportunities coming your way. There are new offers coming your way. With the Three of Pentacles, under this opportunity, unable to collaborate with the right business people, you know what you want but you're not working together with your team, with new people that come in. You're having a really hard time working together with people. Here's another duplicate, Two of Wands. We also have the Sun card. So it's a very, very positive outcome. Once you realize, you know what, I've taken the time, I've got the action, the drive, the ambition, the energy, the positive outlook to manifest exactly what it is I want in love, in finances, or both. Yes, I'm going to be defensive because I know what I want. It's not about control. That's how you need to be. Don't be about control. Being about controlling every single step of your life is allowing disappointment to set in because you have unrealistic expectations for every aspect of your life. Perhaps some things, yes, they do pan out. They do work out the way you expect them to. But be careful because you may hurt other people in the process, making them feel as though they can't live up to your expectations. It damages a person's self-esteem. 
it damages a person's confidence in themselves, in the relationship, in the partnership. It's better to really, really come to mind in terms of what you truly want and how you're going to manifest it moving forward. Bringing this Three of Pentacles right side up by getting rid of this asshole mentality. This guy that just loves to argue that no matter what, I'm right. It's okay to be wrong sometimes. As long as you can come together with the right people. You know what you want. You know what kind of life you want for yourself. It's time to manifest it. It's time to look towards the future. Look at you've got cards of looking towards the future and manifestations. So if you're single and you want this, you know, amazing new partnership, if you're in a partnership that's been having trouble lately, if you've been trying to figure out what the next steps of your career are going to be because you want to make more money, you want to come together with people, you've put in a lot of work into these ideas and what you want to do next with your life. It's time to take on those opportunities that come your way. Learn to work together. Yes, it's fine to disagree sometimes. You know, it's fine. We don't always agree with other people. They have their ideas. You have your ideas. Focus on the possibilities of having this bright future when you work together with the right people. When you communicate clearly about what you want when you come together. Two, three, four. Two of Wands, knowing what you want, knowing which path you're going to go, which path to take, going on to the three and realizing I've made the decision. I'm waiting for my ships to come in. And number four, coming together as a group, as a team, as a community, as a partnership, as a family. Your hard work will pay off. We just need to surrender a bit to the defensiveness to this fighting mentality it's time to release yourself from it your wishes will be fulfilled the minute you release look at you have so many positive cards and just a few that are not so nice but you have wish fulfillment and a very positive outcome july is going to be a great month for you in love and in finances all these cards speak of a bright future of being able to manifest what you want of releasing the disappointment the defensiveness the arguments the fighting because all the other cards around it are very very positive take the time and really really think about what you want for yourself for your partnership career, finance, and in love, and in family. Manifest the hell out of the month of July. Leo, you can do this. So many great opportunities are going to come your way. Be open to them. Be open to working with new people. Not everything has to be a fight, and not everything has to be has to come off so defensive. Okay, Leo, that was your reading for the month of July 2018. Please like, share, and subscribe. I will be uploading more videos shortly. If you are not already following me on Instagram, you can find me on instagram.com slash Virgo Angel Tarot where I post daily and I do live weekly readings. Uh, if you'd like a personal reading, you can email me at virgoangeltarot at gmail.com. Okay. Talk to you later, Leo. Bye.